Okay, we're in the shop and we have a 125 China bike. Spark plug threads on the head are totally stripped out. So we're gonna have to take off the head. We're gonna, we're gonna re-thread those stripped out threads. And uh, we're gonna fire up this bike. And we're gonna take it for a rip. Thanks for watching. Engine, earring, on the cheap. Okay, so we're just gonna take off the carburetor. We're gonna take it off from this side. I pinched off the gas already here with the hose clamp because it was leaking gas and that's something else we have to address later on. Okay, so we're just taking off the spacer. I'll put it inside our bin. And the oil is pretty much drained, so I'm gonna put the plug back on so I don't lose it. Oh, sorry, you have a cover here. And there's a nut right there. So you're going to see that nut lines up if you were to extend a, a hole. Oh, actually, it's a bolt. So we're going to we're going to take off that bolt. All right, we're going to take this guy off. All right. And that holds that cover on. All right. So we're going to take that off. And once we take off that, we're going to see the nitty gritties. The mallet on me. We're just going to tap it with. Okay, so that's how that was being held on. You see there, there's a bolt. There's a bolt. I can't seem to take it out, but there's the bolt right there. See it? So that goes on there like that. And that's what we're doing. So now, let's just tap it in there. Oddly enough, there is absolutely no gasket there. Uh huh, interesting. Uh, okay, so we have here a mark. There's a little mark here on the uh, on this uh, sprocket. Okay, so there's a little mark here as well. So we're gonna align this mark to this mark, just so that when we put it together, we're, and we're not gonna rotate the engine. So when we put it together, we'll just know that the timing, the valve timing, will be spot on. All right. So now to turn this, there's a, you can take out the other side. There's a nut. You can uh, turn it or you can just turn here. You have to take this off anyway. So we're going to turn it right. And there you go. Lined up. Top dead center. It's one of the top dead centers anyways. Don't know if it's on the combustion side or the intake side, right? On the power stroke or on the uh, intake butt. That's top dead center. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna think so hard about everything here. <clears throat> we're just gonna keep it aligned, right? That's aligned there. And we're gonna start to take everything apart. So we have the carb off. Okay, so next step is to take these guys off. Let's take them off. You know it's not a good sign when you hear creaking and you hear like a an elastic loading of the stud and then it just does that you know that that's not nice to hear it's actually scary because you think something's gonna snap and it might oh my god nothing snapped so we take that off that cover okay so now you tell me what's going on here this is made in china so here you got a seal right um, there's oil, there's everything. So there's a good to have a good idea to have a seal. So here they have a, a copper washer, right? To form a seal. And on the other one that I took off, looks to be like a stainless steel or a metal washer, which doesn't form a good seal, right? Copper kind of, uh, 
we'll squash out and anneal towards the uh, the shape of the uh, the roughness. Another metal one. So great. Anyways, not to think too hard. Just throw them in the bin. All right, just throw them in the bin. Just a little, this is not uh, rocket science here. Not too many parts, right? So we got to take off this guy and let's see if there's one on the other side. No, there's not. Of course there's not. Why wouldn't there be? Also have to take off the exhaust, so we're going to do that now. Okay, I'm just taking off the exhaust studs here. Actually, it looks like this. Well, I'm supposed to be taking off the nuts, but it looks like the whole stud is coming off. One of the studs came out on the other side. And so we're just, I don't know if the nut is coming out or the whole exhaust stud is coming out on this side as well. And of course, it is the whole stud came out. Mm, this is all rusted on this side, so great. Throw it in the bin. Okay, we're just going to wiggle off the sprocket here. There we are. Okay, so now we're at the point where the uh, head should just come off. So, let's just give it a couple of taps here and there. And around. And we're going to pull off the head. Alright. Um, this should be okay. Uh, we'll get a screwdriver in there, see if we can pry it. Got to be careful not to break any fins. There you go. Um, that's it. Pretty much. And we don't want to break the gasket. We want to reuse as much as possible. So we'll take that off. Oh, let's turn this a little bit. And voila! We kind of got it off. Well, just got to work it. Yikes. Okay, so... This has to be placed back where it belongs. Make sure we don't lose that. That's an oil seal here. And it goes right in there in the bottom. All right. So again, just toss this into the bin. Okay. So we have the head on the workbench here. There's two options. Um, one is to go with this type of a helicoil system here. Where they give you the drill bit and the cap. And some Healy coils. We'll call it Healy coil even though it's not Healy coil, just a thread repair kit. Mm. China. So we have all these uh, things to screw it in the Healy coil, the insert, or we can go with this system. Now, I think I'm going to go with this system here. I don't like this system because. <clears throat> have to screw this in you know and to press this in and I'm not sure if I have to drill before I screw this in they didn't provide for a drill so I've, I've had kits where you just literally screw this in and then you screw that in and it's totally fine but this system here seems to be for me better because I know that this drill is going to bring it to this top size and this tap is going to work with those inserts so let's do that I'm thinking just to hold this inside a vise just hold the head inside a vise and just go freehand with this as best as possible and that's what we're gonna do okay I've got the um, the head held in a vise with some blocks of wood and I use some uh, some paper or some uh, rag well paper cloth or whatever it is rag cloth and uh, we're just gonna drill line it as best as we can by eye and allow the drill to self align with the existing hole that's it it just sucked it in pulled it in and that's it done don't have to think so hard about that okay so now we got the uh, tap holder we got some cutting fluid which is just uh, option one it's the only option I have one option and uh, put some cutting fluid there and we're just gonna run this down and we're gonna hold it as best as we can um, perpendicular to the hole and it's gonna self-align right 
don't force it too much. Just let, let it self-align. There you go. There you go. There you go, once it's all the way through, it's just easy to turn. No more cutting. So there's your cuttings there. We're just gonna clean that off just with a little bit of air. Now I left the head gasket in place, okay? Because it, it wants to stick hard onto the head. So I didn't, I didn't remove it. And we're gonna reuse this head gasket. Remember, this is China bike. This is like fix this kind of fast and just get it out of the shop. My, my buddy knows, don't spend too much time on it. Don't spend too much money on it, right? Or else if you wanted to spend more, more money, more time, you'd, uh, you'd get your gaskets, all new gaskets. And uh, one gasket we're gonna have to make on it is, the, uh, is this gasket here because it broke. Right? So we'll just make a gasket there. Um, other than that, but the repair is almost done, right? So, okay, so I counted the number of threads. There was nine. So I just count the number of threads and I cut it with the side cutters instead of a grinder. I'm just gonna screw it in from the bottom. And, and this is like a springy material. So it's just a spring. There you go, comes out to about there. And then here, we're supposed to knock that out. I don't know how we're gonna knock that out. <coughs> I think we're gonna knock it out like this, but I don't know, this is kind of dodgy. But yeah, they just knock these out. Oh, there you go, it's knocked out. I knocked it out from this side because I could hit it better. And that's it. So it's ready, it's done, finished, fixed. And your spark plug. There you go. You have a thread for the spark plug. There you go. Repair. Now, when you put this all together, there's actually two kind of seals here. So one of them stayed on the, the, um, the cylinder and it's nicely in place. So I'm not going to touch it. Because I don't have new ones, right? So, and also this one here, we're going to put it back. So here, we'll take out the plug. Okay, so now we're just sliding everything together. I used a little bit of grease to hold that seal in place. So there's two seals there, one and two. Now I'm going to pass wire, a wire through here just to grab the chain and pull it through, all right? And hold it in kind of place as well. It's just a very thin wire here, nothing. I'm gonna slide this down and pull out the chain at the same time, all right? And there we go. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Slide it down, pull the chain. Okay, so now there's, there's no bolts or anything holding it together yet, but I'm just gonna put in the sprocket, all right? The, uh, E. This is gonna be a little bit difficult, but okay, so what we're gonna do is kind of slide it back down there and then forward. We're gonna to remember to line up that mark, right? And then we're gonna rotate. Oh, there you go, pretty much it. Let's see how close I got it. Okay, so we're gonna see how well, hmm, we have to tighten this up in order for it to line up properly but I'm just gonna leave it in there like that for now so that it can't go anywhere I'm gonna make the uh, gasket actually we're not gonna make the gasket. we're gonna just use gasket material in the tube for this part here we're gonna once we start clamping this down it'll tighten things up we can we can tighten it up with this not uh, sorry this bolt Okay, I thought I could uh, get away with the valve timing just by not moving anything, but um, it's not it's not so simple. So, because things do move, so what we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna make sure the timing is okay, and we're gonna do that by 
um, taking off this cover here and making sure that it's uh, indicating top dead center and this mark has to be top dead center as well. All right. Okay, so here are your markings. There's markings on here for uh, firing and top dead center. Oddly enough, uh, you'd think that there would be a matching mark on, on the uh, engine casing here somewhere, right? But obviously they forgot to put the mark or I can't see the mark, but there is no mark by the way. Yeah, so as you can see, if I rotate this, that rotates. So bringing it there and there are no marks on this engine. So we'll bring the pistons to the top dead center. We'll make a mark here. And yeah, a little bit going backwards, but not that big of a deal. Okay, let me just show you what I'm doing here. So I'm just looking at the piston there. I know you can't see the piston, but the piston's coming to top dead center right about there. So I'm gonna put a mark on the housing here to indicate that this is top dead center. All right? Okay, this is where it is. So I'm just gonna mark, ah, oh, dear God, okay. Coming here, it's top dead center, right about there. There you go. That's a nice divot. See it? Perfect. So now I can easily bring it to top dead center, right there. There's a nice divot right in there. It lines it up with top dead center here. And here's your firing uh, mark, F. For firing, that's where it fires. And you can see the piston is not at top dead center because it does take a little bit of time for the fuel to start to burn. And that's top dead center right there. And there's a T there and there's an F there. So beautiful. I'm just gonna make that mark a little bit bigger. So, and that's what you get for made in China. Can't believe that they wouldn't put, put this in there. There you go. Beautiful. Now everybody knows. Okay, so we're just reassembling everything here again. We use that trick of the wire, the wire trick. And put this bolt in, tighten it up, put in the, uh, oh, well, this is roughly there, should be. Now, another thing too is that this is off-centered, so where the, the bolt hole pattern is, so you can't get it wrong, but don't, don't just start turning that around for fun. Just put, take it off, put it on the same way kind of thing, right? Okay, there we have it. So we bring it to top dead center. I made my mark there and I know that's top dead center for the piston. And I have this uh, mark here aligned with this mark. And it's, yep, it's pretty much aligned. So I'm just gonna put in the bolts there and it should align it 100%. Like it can only be off by one um, chain tooth. So if it's off by one chain tooth, it's gonna throw it like way off, right? It'll be like way off here. So you'll have to just kind of rotate it to get the proper chain tooth. And, and also be able to screw this on, right? Cause it only goes on one way. Now how tight to tighten up these? <laughs> when you feel them tight, you tighten them a little bit more and then you hope that they don't snap, right? So there is a torque spec for this, but I would think that it's somewhere around eight foot pounds or something like that. But I don't, don't, um, don't go by that spec. Just, uh, you'll have to look that up. That one, I don't know. I go by hand. Okay. So when you feel that it's tight and you tighten it and it doesn't want to tighten anymore and you have some experience doing it, you know, you're not going to snap the bolt and you know that it's on good, right? It's not coming off. I, I just tightened it up. So, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to tighten this up. Crisscross pattern. Slowly tighten it up, right? I don't like the way that, that this is feeling, but here I should actually use a torque wrench. I should put it, to, I'll use a torque wrench for this one here. I'm going to put it to uh, 8 foot-pounds, see how that feels. Okay, I decided to go with 110 inch-pounds, which that's what it is. That's what I decided to go with. 
and uh, let's continue on. So I'll just put on this cover, put on this cover here, and start to put in the exhaust. The exhaust is going to be a little bit difficult. I might have to loosen these bolts and lower this a little bit. I'll just press it down. Oh, we'll put on this cover here, right? Oh, Jesus. This cover. Okay, we just installed the the exhaust there. We just put those two studs in. <clears throat> now we're just going to fix up the fuel problem. We're going to put in this nice valve and uh, just remove the valve that they have, which it's a valve that's attached to the frame. So we're good to go. Just plug that in and we're good. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the valve that they had on it. It's uh, basically just on and off, right? So, and it's connected to the frame via this uh, bolt hole, I guess, but it's leaky. So, I mean, it's probably just a, an O-ring at best, or sometimes they have a piece of rubber in there with uh, two holes or three holes, right? Uh, I don't know. We'll see if we're going to rebuild this or we'll just keep the true and tested made in China. Okay, so let's open up the clamp. Release the fuel. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, yeah, fuel is going in. And I can shut it off if I want to. I just have to use a zip tie to hold that in place up underneath here. That's it. But I want to try out this bike. Just fill it up with oil. We're ready to try it. Okay, so now we did all of this work. Okay, we're just going to prove spark. Okay, There's lots of spark there. Okay, let's put this inside the uh, cylinder head now. Spark plug in there. Okay, so we're going to tighten it up. There you go, it's taking a nice torque on there. Oh yeah. Don't tighten it too much. I think I tightened it too much there, but don't you tighten it too much. Well, that's about it. Okay, <clears throat> motorcycle oil, four stroke, motorcycle. Okay, let's see if she'll fire up. She fired up. Take off the choke. We'll try the choke. Okay, so I changed the carburetor to put a brand new carburetor in there. I didn't even bother to try and clean it, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> because I opened it up and she looks spotless in there, alright? So, um, the, the, the jets were spotless, everything was spotless. Um, just put in a new carburetor that I had. And it just, this bike works flawlessly. It fires up now. Look at this, look at it idle. Watch this. Perfect. I adjust the pilot jet as well. I'm not even going to explain how I did that because I know how to do that. Just look it up on YouTube. Well, that's another tutorial maybe one day. But she just humps. This bike just humps. It rips. Oh, I took it for a rip. And it just goes, it goes. It goes up hills, it goes everywhere. Awesome, awesome bike. Thanks for watching. Okay, and we took out the plug and uh, let's see here, she looks nice. A little bit black at the back, but overall, it, it's a nice tan. It's hard to see, but it's a nice tan there. And I, I just took it for a little rip. So really, you're gonna have to look at that plug a little bit later on again. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is fourth gear, right, going up a hill, wide open. Just gonna lug the engine a bit in fourth gear. Oh, she pulls, baby! Oh, yeah! 